World Audrey. A few weeks ago, we did a video on Tlaquepaque. It's an area of Guadalajara. The word Tlaquepaque means place over clay land, so there is a long history of pottery in this area. There is a ceramic school, a couple of ceramics museums, and lots of pottery studios. This video shows an amazing museum and behind the scenes of one of the large pottery workshops. The Pante de Leon Panduro National Ceramics Museum was the prize-winning art from Mexico's National Ceramics Competition. It's one of the most important art events in the country. They have hundreds of pieces in all styles and types and displays the best of the best from the last 23 years. A short walk from the museum is a large pottery shop called El Palomar, which means the dove's nest. The name comes from its famous hand-painted dove decorations on the pottery. Our dad remembers eating off dishes from El Palomar as a boy, and we still have some of the dishes today. When they realized my dad did pottery as a hobby, they offered our family a tour of the workshop back behind the store. This is the Fabrica del Palomar in Talaquepaque. Ay, mira todo. <laughs> I thought the store was huge, but the workshop was enormous. At El Palomar, they use lots of molds to form the pieces. They pour in liquid clay and let it set. Once it's dry, they can be cleaned and smoothed off. They are very brittle, so any pieces that break before glazing get thrown into these huge vats. More water is added and it's remixed to be used again. Most of the pots are hand painted. These two artists are working on a special order of these brightly painted bottles. The colors look pastel going on, but they change when they are fired in the kiln. They were making 500 of these for a customer. The workshop had a couple of cute dogs following us around too. This is the glazing area for items that have an all over color or a clear coat. The glaze is carefully sprayed on. Too much or too little and the piece will be ruined. All these pieces are waiting to be fired in the kiln. The day we went, they were firing their small kiln, but they also have one the size of a room. They stack all the pots and shelves on a gigantic cart and roll the shelves into the kiln for the firing. Now for the hard part, going back to the store to choose which pieces to buy. Sophie and I got all cozy with the store's cats while mom and dad looked around.
This platter shows samples of all the styles they do. Apart from doing regular dishes, they are known for their cute little ceramic animals. At our house, any meal set with dishes from El Palomar feels special. Thanks for watching World Audrey. Don't forget to like and subscribe.